Um, I want to start the show off with a bit of a horrible, horrible story. This is courtesy of BBC. I just wanted to speak about it just because I wanted to off. I wanted to just ask an open-ended question that hopefully some of my American um, listeners can maybe fill me in on, on on what's going on over there in the states, especially when it comes to the LAPD. This is courtesy of BBC News. It says police stray bullet kills teen in LA store's dressing room. Yes, you heard that right. A police stray bullet kills a teenager in LA store's dressing room. And I think the store is a Burlington, right? So I'm assuming that's just like an all-in-one sort of place, like a Matalan. It says it sells like ladies, men's, kids, babies, and home coats and whatnot. So maybe it's like a Matalan type of store. It says the following here. It says, um, Los Angeles police have killed two people, including a 14-year-old girl trying on new outfits after opening fire inside of a clothing store. Like, it's just like, Jesus, these people are so bad at their job. It says a stray bullet hit the teen as she was in a change room with her mother trying to dress for a birthday party. Police say the shooting came after reports sh- of, of shots fired by a man inside the store. The suspect was shot dead, but no gun was found. So, not only are they shooting into a shopping center or shooting in a shopping center with many people around, people probably hiding behind mannequins or store, store flipping displays or change rooms that maybe this girl was in or maybe just shopping. Not only they're shooting in there because they think someone's got a gun, but the guy who they thought had a gun didn't have even have one on him. So what was this shots fired report that came in? Why didn't the police actually do their jobs to investigate if the person actually had a weapon? Again, I don't know how you do it. I don't know. Again, I'm, I'm not a police officer. I don't have any idea how that training goes or how they can spec it out. But surely there's a way that they can do where they can ascertain, has this person got a gun, yay or nay? But like just shooting somebody in an in a supermarket full of people thinking they've got a gun and then accidentally killing a fourteen year old is just I cannot even imagine. The State Department of Justice uh, the State Department of Justice is currently investigating the shooting, and of course they're most likely going to find a guy or, or girl who did it and could like you know innocent straight away just nonsense. The incident took place on Thursday morning around eleven forty five um, p.m. As, no, 11.45 a.m., I'm assuming, at Burnton's store in North Hollywood um, amid a throng of holiday shoppers. Witnesses and store employees told local media that a man was acting erratically inside the store and smashing display cases. Okay, cool. Just standard public freakout stuff you see on Reddit. Um, police said 911 caller reported hearing arguing inside the store and just his shots may have been fired. Whoever reported that into the police you're probably feeling guilty too, right? Because you're probably going to feel like you're somewhat responsible. Whoever overreacted and panicked and said there were shots fired when somebody's just smashing glass. But again, that might be, to let to give that person a bit of bly, that might be part of the stress that goes on when you're trying to remember this kind of thing, which maybe explains why a lot of people say, um, I think some people, yeah, is it right? Like supposedly eyewitness accounts are really unreliable because people don't, like two people seeing one thing won't remember it the same way. So they're the worst sort of like gauge on what happened. Maybe you have to pull, maybe you have to kind of find a common thread uh, amongst many different eyewitnesses accounts. But just taking one person's version of events isn't necessarily a version of truth. It's just basically what they saw. Maybe what they saw might got tainted somewhat by their fight or flight or whatever, right? So maybe that was part of it. Um, a fire department officer told reporters and probably as well i think i'd imagine nowadays with stuff that's going on in the world especially in the states maybe people are a lot more nervous and a lot more on edge when they go to a shopping center because of what's happening in terms of mass shootings and whatnot they don't want to be another victim so maybe when they hear those kind of sounds the automatic thing they go to is oh yeah shit this is a shooting maybe i don't know a continuous said here a fire department official told reporters that officers had arrived to find an individual who was in the process of assaulting another on an upper level floor store prompting them to open fire like can't you disarm somebody who's assaulting somebody without opening your gut like without shooting them i don't know again maybe i don't maybe i'm confused here but don't they have bats don't they have like pepper spray don't they have things that they can use stun guns that can uh, you know temporarily uh make someone basically not able to hurt somebody else and you can take them down this whole idea that someone's hurt so uh, that's why i don't care it's police officers in america see two people fighting in the street like fist fighting what do they do Do they just start shooting or do they come and break it up like with their actual hands the suspect died almost instantly um, a heavy bicycle lock was found near the body but no gun was found a bicycle lock they thought it was a gun um, officers then found a hole in the nearby wall of a dressing room behind the suspect and a teenager girl dead inside. On Friday, the LA County Coroner's Office identified her as Vanessa or Ar- Ar- Lana Peralta. Now, this is where I think the whole like, um, what's that thing called? Uh, 
white girl, white woman syndrome thing might be real. Because if this girl, again, God forbid, we don't want it to happen in R.I.P. Um, Valentina Orellana Peralta, R.I.P. her, forced her to her family. But if this girl was some white girl from the middle of America, blonde, blue eyes, cute as a button, and she passed away, this would be a whole different story. Let's let's just get that on. Let's just get that out there and wide in the open. That's the unfortunate side about this whole thing. But also the other unfortunate side of it, with it being LA, most likely this girl is Hispanic, right? Most likely she's Mexican, most likely, or some somewhere around, you know, um, what would you call it? Somewhere around um is that is that deemed as a is that deemed as what would you say? would you call that area where Nicaragua, Honduras, Mexico, what's that area called? Is is that northern South America? Does that make even sense? It's not really, is it? Well I wonder what that area is called. If you know what that area is called, please tell me no. That little stretch just, just underneath Mexico where all those countries are. Well what would you call that that bit there? But whatever, right? She's she's obviously from that area, and she because that's where most of the people move to when they you know leave their country to come to America. They usually go to there in terms terms of LA. So you'd imagine there'd be a lot more uproar, you know, and outrage at this happening, and they'd want to you know bring the officers that were you know responsible for this to task, and you know actually have them punished in some way, shape, or form. But probably it's not going to happen. Instead, what ha what you saw happen the other day will happen, right? That woman who accidentally killed the kid at a traffic stop right i think she pulled him over for something violation whatever it may be and she mistakenly pulled for her gun instead of pulling for her taser and shot the kid twice and obviously he died on the spot and she'd been found guilty and they're basically going to probably throw the book at her but she's the only person i can think of in recent times that's been found guilty of that and again why is it a no surprise because it's a woman so it looks like the union or whatever it may be when it comes to police or whatever that thin blue line is or, you know, whatever the code of silence, whatever they have there, it only applies for dudes, but not for women. It only applies when the victim or the perp is a minority. No, it's not a minority. Do you know what I mean? It's just like such a bizarre system. It really is. But I just, I just don't know what it is about. Is it because these guys don't have good training? Is it just because the job inherently attracts shitty people? Is it because the gun and the badge turns decent people into shitty people just because of the level of power and authority they have um, with people, especially in certain communities? What is it about that job? Honestly, I don't know. What is it in America about that job that makes the police there so inept? We have our issues here in the UK. We really do. But I guess the issues here in the UK aren't as, um, aren't as life or death threatening because we don't have guns right police officers here only have like trunches and shit maybe you know there's obviously some what are they called i think so9 right we have so9 who come in and have guns if, if you know involved in crime or not so you're involved in like high level crime or drugs or something they obviously do come with guns and of course we've got we still got our SWAT team in that regard but day-to-day -day police officers don't have guns here just bats right or pepper spray or whatnot and really hard you know handcuffs that really hurt your wrist cool but in America, they have guns, right? So the consequences for getting something wrong are fatal, right? You can legitimately make a family be out, you know, without their aunt, without their mom, sister, you know, that's a big consequence you're doing because you mistakenly, you know, pulled for this and not for that. But I just don't know what it is about the police officers of the other day in general where they're just so shit at their job. It just, it frightens me how bad they are, man. It's just shockingly bad. And they don't. I don't say they don't seem to care, but there's no, there's no, there's, it doesn't seem to be any effort or any kind of desire to make them better either. It seems to get worse, and I think that's why I think the whole George Floyd thing, especially in the states, was such a missed opportunity for all minority groups within the United States to just maybe band together and kind of push for some police reform. That whole idea about you know um, disbanding the police is just stupid. No one would sense thinks it's a good idea to disband the police and instead replace them with what? Community officers and stuff like it doesn't make any sense. But it's not a practical solution as well, right? It's just not gonna work. But you would imagine with the death of George Floyd and with some other high profile deaths to here and there, especially even, who's that guy? There was an old guy during the riots or during some of the protests who got kicked by a police officer, knocked his head on the ground, was out for time. Like just some gruesome stuff you saw during around the time of the riots, right? It, like kind of uh, post George Floyd's death. Um, some police, you know, being too heavy handed with protests and just being shitty people. You would imagine that the minorities who obviously were mostly to, the minority population in the united states who mostly suffered at the hands of police would maybe band together and say like you know what enough is enough 
we need to call for reform. Here's our demands, X, Y, and Z, right? In every state in America, just kind of band around in that regard because that's the only way change is going to happen. But instead, somehow it still turned into like a infighting within the black community about George Floyd's death, infighting within that community because they feel like they're not getting attention that they need in terms, especially the Asian community, when it all happened and they were getting attacked on the streets, you know, um, because people thought they were out fault for COVID. Like so many groups of people, especially minorities in that country, felt they had their own little battle they had to fight during a time when maybe it made more sense for them to all band around this banner of like, okay, police brutality and then kind of let's let's, let's kind of list our demands. That didn't happen. And instead we have this situation where you have cops just shooting into a shopping centre, you know, through a war and hitting a 40 year old kid. But also this oddly this weirdly also explains why do you remember when people were saying I think I forgot what mass shooting was. Maybe it might have been that Las Vegas one where the guy was in some casino hotel shooting people at you know at some country music festival. I remember someone leaking a video of oh the police I guess putting a video out of his officer with his body cam on, and I think he must have passed like Dan Belzerian or something, and he was kind of asking him to give him his gun so he can help like take down the assailant. And the guy's like, shut up, man, leave me alone, Jeremy. You know I like, of course, you know, just duck and cover, you know, because I'm not giving you my gun. And then I think somebody explained in the comments like, oh. Or some of the comments I forgot or something where I forgot I saw it where they're like some people have this idea in their head that to stop my shootings you need to give like teachers guns and shit and I think the the argument that they were saying was it actually what ends up happening if you give somebody that's not as trained to you know fire a weapon during such a stressful time they'll end up having more victims on the end of their gun than the actual perp they will actually have the adverse effect and this obviously proves the point do you know what I mean um. Because if there was another person in that place that had a gun, then maybe we'd have more than two people dead. Do you know what I mean? Because clearly, you know, the line of sight of where you're firing and who's around, it's just, it's just too crazy. It just doesn't make any sense. It really, really doesn't. Um, after then, da, 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 she had been trying on a dress for a quinceanera, a coming of age tradition originated in Latin America, celebrating a girl's 15th birthday, police officer told any time. So sad, man. Tragic. Local media was also showing a woman with a bloodied face who appears to be assault, the, the assault victim being taken away from the store in an ambulance. The man who was shot by police has not yet been publicly named. On Thursday night, Los Angeles Police Chief Michael Moore promised a thorough, complete and transparent investigation into what he called a chaotic incident. Chaotic incident? Chaotic? <laughs> like what? I provide sorry for the loss of this young girl's life, and I know there are no words that can believe the imaginable pain for the family. A day before Christmas, she's shopping for a quinceanera, which I'm guessing was around the time Christmas was around anyway. So maybe it was a couple of days after, or maybe during the new year, with her mum. In like, it's just I don't know, man. I can't imagine the pain they're going through, bro. Absolutely heinous stuff. As part of the review, the department is better to release a video of the incident, including the officers' worn body cam and the burns and security cameras. California Attorney General Rob uh, Bonnater said that he would conduct an independent investigation and refer his findings to a team of special prosecutors. A state law passed in July mandates that all fatal police shootings of unnamed incidents, sorry, civilians, be investigated by the State Department of Justice. So. They're of course taking it seriously, but I just want to know, man, what is it about American police? Like, are they just all bad at their job? Um, is the job really hard and and not a lot of people can do it well? Or does that gun and badge turn fairly decent people into absolute dumb nuts when they have that gun and badge? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions regarding that one.